this broadcast of our live streaming is originated. And we thank you, Lord Yeshua HaMasiah, that today you will again release your peace, you will release your mercy, and to those souls who have you, whom you have prepared to receive you as Lord and Savior, I pray that you will also manifest in them the Holy Spirit of God, so they will continue, O Lord God, to search for you and to be thirsty and hungry of your word and anything about you. So I pray, Lord Yeshua HaMasiah, that you will anoint my lips. Only the words you want me to speak will I speak today. And in the mighty name of our living Yah Yeshua HaMasiah, I pray, Amen. So can we open our Bible on Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 11. For we who live are constantly being delivered over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our normal, our mortal flesh. Introduction, our God is a God of order. In the time past, He has already designed the plan for His Son to come down to the world, destroy the devil's work, and redeem his name. Even before man's fall, God's will is already in place. The Son of God came out of the Father's bosom and defeated the devil with his death. He put man under the domination of the law, and by this law, man became a sinner. The sin of man demanded his death, but the Son of God took man's death and died in his place. Amen. So first point, God creates man to obtain Adam. God first created man on earth. For the Son of God to come into the world, God first made a model of a servant on earth. Hence, the people before Adam were created in order to obtain Adam. It was for God to obtain Adam that He created mankind. Genesis 1, 26-27 Then God said, let us, made, let us make man in our image according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Verse 27, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So although God has a remnant of the Spirit, He created only Adam to be a spiritual being in His search for a godly offspring. When the Son of God came to the world, He made Himself known to mankind. He could have entered heaven directly, but He manifested Himself to man in order to destroy the devil's works. 1 John 3.8 The one who practices sin is of the devil for the devil has sinned from the beginning. The Son of God appeared for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil. He could have come out of the Father's bosom and went directly into heaven inherited it, and sat down on the throne prepared for the Son of Man. The first Adam, who was a created spiritual being, is the symbol of the last Adam. He is a figure. 
there is a relationship between the first Adam and the last Adam. The first Adam brought death to all mankind, but the last Adam brought us back our life. God commanded Adam not to eat the fruit of the tree of good and evil, lest he would die. God added, In the day you eat it, you shall die. You shall die in the command, you shall surely die. Not only that God has given his word in that man's spirit can live. Thus, man's flesh eats food while his spirit eats God's word. Had Adam obeyed God's word, it becomes food for his spirit. Amen? So, it doesn't mean that man dies because of the fruit, but because he disobeys God's word. So, namatay ang tao, it's not because he ate the fruit, but because he disobeyed God's word. Until today, if we disobey God, we will really earn curses, and out of the curses and diseases, man will die. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may know the things freely given to us by God. Amen? So second point, Disobedience kills man's spirit. God commanded man not to eat the fruit of good and evil because if he does, he will surely die. When God said to Adam, who was a spiritual being, that if he eats the fruit of the tree of good and evil, he will surely die, God was referring to to the death of Adam, and he was prophesied how man could experience death. Genesis chapter 2 verse 17, But from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat from it, you will surely die. Amen? Because Adam disobeyed the word of God, mankind was doomed to death. Death came to all mankind. This was the process that was necessary for the Son of God to come out of the Father's bosom, taking the form of a servant and obey the Father to the point of death, and finally ascended to the throne in heaven. The Son of God must humble himself and experience death, humility, and obedience. Even before the fall of man, he already had the plan to come in the flesh in the form of a servant, humbly and obeying to the point of death. It was determined before the creation of the world that the Son of God would obey the Father to the point of death. When Adam sinned, his created spirit, which God breathed into his nostrils on the day he was created, died. We often say, I receive salvation. But it does not mean that our created life has come back to life. Our spirit has already died. The spirit of mankind is already dead. It is dead and our spirit died because of the wages of sin. But sin still remains. So tandaan natin, na ang ating spirito namatay when Adam committed sin. And because his spirit and the spirit of all mankind started with Adam, so all mankind became sinners after that. And then our spirit died because of the wages of sin. Ano ang kapayaran sa ating kasalanan? 
ang sabi ng Bible is sin, the, the wages of sin is death. But sin still remains. Hindi ibig sabihin na nagkasala si Adan, namatay ang espiritu, na dahil namatay ang espiritu, nawala na ang ating kasalanan. Hindi po yan. Even patay na ang ating espiritu, the sin that they committed still remains. Na iwan pa rin. Amen? So Jesus shed His blood and paid the price of our sin for us. Now, man is no longer a sinner since Jesus paid the price of sin. The Spirit's death, as we said earlier, refers to the death of the created life. God gave us the life of His Son so that we will no longer live by the created life, but we live by the Creator's life. Ang pagbigay ng ating Diyos Ama sa kanyang bugtong na anak na si Panginoong Yeshua Hamasaya at dahil namatay ng ating created life, ang binigay po niya is the Creator's life, ang buhay, sariling buhay ng kanyang anak. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ and it is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. Amen? Third point Adam's death is Christ's death. It should be noted that it was not actually mankind that would experience death for the first time. It is not man, but the Son of God. It was determined before the creation of the world that the Son of God would obey the Father to the point of death. 1 Peter 1 verse 20 for he was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but has appeared in these last times for the sake of you. So kaya, nakita natin na nung natalo na ng Panginoon si Satanas, binigyan niya tayo ng ating salvation. And God spoke about this to Adam. So, for Jesus to come out of the Father's bosom and come to the world as the Son of Man and tasted death and entered heaven. But, God said to Adam, On the day you eat it, you will surely die. If you, the first Adam, eats it, you will surely die. Yan po ang sinabi ng ating Diyos na buhay. This death has to be taken up by Yeshua Hamasaya. If you eat it, you will die. Man dies in eternal judgment. But the Son of God dies before man dies. So, tandaan natin, nung nagsabi ang Panginoon, If you eat it, you will die. Ang ibig niyang sabihin na ang ating Espiritu ay mamatay. Ngunit, dahil ang Espiritu na yan is a created being, hindi po siya mabuhay kung tatanggapin natin ang ating Diyos bilang ating tagapagligtas at ating Panginoon. So, paano tayo nagkakaroon ng eternal life at salvation? Dahil sarili niya, Creator's life. Creator Spirit ang ipinalit niya sa ating created spirit na namatay dahil sa kasalanan ni Adan. Amen? On the day you will eat of it, you will surely die. Jesus Christ will die. The one who will die is Christ. We should understand that the moment the first Adam eats the fruit, Yeshua Hamasiya is destined to die. Nung kinain ni Adan ang prutas ng 
tree of knowledge of good and evil, for sure, ano ang siguradong mamatay ang ating Diyos na buhay. If the first Adam dies, according to God's plan, the last Adam, Yeshua HaMasiyah, lives. The first Adam eats the fruit of good and evil and becomes subject to eternal punishment. Kaya nakita natin na yung namatay ang ating espiritu dahil nagkakasala si Adan, the first Adam, ano ang nangyayari? Namatay ang ating Diyos na buhay because in in our place, He died for us by taking up all our curses and all our sins. Amen? But before man faces eternal death, Yeshua Hamasiah dies first. And this is already within God's plan. So, ang plano ng Panginoong Ama na kung mamatay si Adan, magkakasala siya, although winarningan niya, na to eat the fruit of the tree of good and evil, which is, kung inobey niya yon, should have been our food for our spirit, dahil niya nag siya, so namatay ang kanyang espiritu at lahat na spiritual life ng mga mankind also dies with it. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 11 For we who live are constantly being delivered over to death for Jesus sake so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. Amen. Fourth point, by Christ's death the first Adam lives. The first Adam eats the fruit of good and evil and become subject to eternal punishment. But, before man dies eternally, Yeshua HaMasiah dies first. By the death of the first Adam, the last Adam lives. So, by the death of the Son of God, man who was supposed to die is given a chance to live again. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng mga anak ng Diyos ng chance or opportunity na tayo ay mabuhay ulit sa pamagitan ng kamatayan ng ating Diyos na buhay. If the last Adam dies, the first Adam lives. Because of the first Adam sin, the last Adam takes death. Amen? And because the last Adam dies, the first Adam is able to live. So this transcends time. Amen? Namatay ang last Adam. Who is the last Adam? Yeshua HaMasaya. And the first Adam, the only spiritual being, the first spiritual being, lives. Amen? 1 Corinthians 15.45 So also it is written, The first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. Amen? The devil denied the word of God that said, On the day you eat it, you will surely die. And instead, the devil said, You will not die. God is afraid that you will become like God when you eat it, that he would, that he told you not to eat it. So, sinungaling talaga satanas. Anong sabi niya ni, ni Eve? Natakot ang Diyos na pag kumain kayo, you will be like God. Kaya, nag-isip si Eve, ay parang magiging Diyos din pala ako so kumain siya. He was tempted by the devil. He was brought to a big fat lie. Amen? So, Adam ate it also and became a sinner. He then was facing eternal judgment. In other words, his relationship with God was completely severed or completely cut. So, if this is coupled with the property of eternity, then it becomes 
eternal death. He will be a sinner eternally. Anong ibig sabihin? Na kung hindi inaagapan ng Diyos ang kasalanan ni Adam at kakain siya ng prutas ng tree of life, ang mangyayari, magkakaroon siya ngayon ng eternity. Meaning, wala na siyang kamatayan, therefore, ang kanyang kasalanan, ang pag, kanyang pagkamakasalanan ay already eternal. So, hindi na ma-save ng ating Panginoong Hesus ang tao. Hindi na ma-save ni Yeshua mas siyang tao if the sin committed by Adam became eternal sin or Adam and Eve will become eternal sinner. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In other words, God fears that they will become sinners forever if they will also eat the fruit of the tree of life. The tree of life has the attribute of eternity. Bakit may attribute na eternity ang tree of life? Because it represents Yeshua Hamasaya, our living Yah. The fruit of the tree of life brings the effect of eternity. Kaya pag kinain nila yun, anong mangyayari? Magiging eternal sinners ang tao and there is no way to save them. So God drives Adam and Eve away from the Garden of Eden. To give man a chance to live again through Yeshua Hamasiah's death on the cross. Amen? Hence, if Adam and all of mankind become sinners forever, they are doomed to die because of sins. When death becomes eternal, there is no more hope for man to be saved and brought back to God. Amen? As soon as Adam ate the fruit of the tree of good and evil, God took action immediately and guarded the way to the tree of life so that they could not become eternal sinners. They were also banished from the Garden of Eden back to the place where God took Adam in the land of the people without spirits. So saan nang galing si Adam? Nang galing siya doon sa lugar, dito sa world where sino ang nakatira doon? Yung mga tao na walang espiritu. Kaya kung naalala ninyo sa Genesis 6, bakit nagkakaroon ngayon ng opportunity na ang mga sons of God who were the descendants of Adam Nagkakaroon sila ng opportunity to marry the daughters of men who were daughters of the people without spirit. Dahil kasi, after sila nagkakasala, ibinalik sila ni Lord. Pinalaya sila mura sa Garden of Eden at ibinalik sila doon sa lugar ng world where doon niya kinuha si Adam at nilagyan niya ng Spirito that made him a living spiritual being. So, binalik siya. So, nung binalik siya doon, siyempre, nung nanganak na siya ni, ni Cain, ni Abel, ni Seth, doon na siya nanganak doon, kasama na yung mga tao without spirits. Now, in the years to come, dumami na ang mga descendants ni Adam, dumami na rin ang mga daughters of men na walang espiritu, uy, nagkita-kita na sila. Nagkasilip-silipan na sa sinong handsome, sinong handsome, sinong beautiful. Kaya, nagkakaroon sila ngayon ng pagkakataon na naggustuhan nila ang mga daughters of men at inasawa ngayon sa mga descendants of Adam. Kaya kung sila, hindi sila nagkakasala, doon lang sila sa Garden of Eden, Eden, there is no way. 
na magkasala sila ulit of disobedience. Dahil wala man silang ibang makita. Ang makita nila, yun lang talagang lahi nila. Amen? So, I hope maintindihan natin lahat yan. So, hence, God drives Adam and Eve away from the Garden of Eden to give man a chance to live again through Yeshua HaMasiyah's death on the cross. Hence, if Adam and all of mankind become sinners forever, they are doomed to die because of sins. When death becomes eternal, there is no more hope for man to be saved and brought back to God. So, kung hindi yun, sila pinalayas ng ating Panginoon, patuloy sila na doon mananana, maninirahan sa Garden of Eden, chances are one day, aabuti a, a, nila, magkuha sila ng prutas ng tree of life, kakainin nila, so magiging eternal sinners ang mga tao, and when they become eternal sinners, there is no more hope na sila, na tayo ay Masave ni Yeshua Hamasaya, our living Yah. As soon as Adam ate the fruit of the tree of good and evil, God took action immediately and guarded the way to the tree of life so that they could not become eternal sinners. They were also banished from the Garden of Eden back to the place where God took Adam in the land of the people without spirits. Genesis chapter 3 verses 22 to 24 Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil, and now he might stretch out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. Yan po ang rason kung bakit sila ay they were driven out from the Garden of Eden. Marami akong, maraming nagtanong sa akin noon, pag nag-Bible study ako, anong tanong nila? Bishop, ah, pastura pa ako noon, pastura Lili, kung totoong mahal ng Panginoon ang tao, Bakit pinalayas nila si Adan at si Iba mula sa Garden of Eden? Di ba? Walang pagmamahal yan? So yun ang palagi kong maririnig itanong nila. So that's why kailangan din nating matutunan na kaya sila pinaalis dahil sa sobrang pagmamahal ng ating Diyos. Gusto niya na tayo ay one day kung tatanggapin natin ang kanyang Diyos na anak na si Yeshua Masiya Yeshua Masiya we would be able to give us the creator spirit and in the end we can go back to God and join Him in the new Jerusalem yan po, kaya sila they were driven out of the garden of Eden, amen so verse 23 therefore the Lord God sent him out from the garden of Eden to cultivate the ground from which he was taken so, he drove the man out, and at the east of the Garden of Eden, he stationed the cherubim and the flaming sword, which turned every direction to guard the way to the tree of life. So, sabi dito, he stationed the cherubim. Ang singular sa cherubim, cherub. So, ibig sabihin, cherubim, marami. We don't know. Siguro, billions of legions of angels. Naniguro talaga ang Diyos na hindi nila malapitan ang tree of life upang hindi sila makakuha at makakain ng bunga ng tree of life. Amen? Fifth point, Christ's death is equal to the devil. The plan of God was already set for the Son of God to come as the Son of Man to humble Himself to obey to the Father to the point of death and finally entered heaven to inherit all things. The Son of God destroyed the devil's work and entered heaven. 
This is because Christ's death is equal to the devil being condemned. Kung baga, ang kamatayan ng ating Diyos na buhay doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo means that the devil was condemned. Meaning, hinatula na siya dahil sa kanyang pagrebilde at yung pag sinungaling niya sa tao kaya sila na tempted sila ni Adam at and Eve to eat the fruit of the tree of good and evil. The death of Christ means the devil is condemned. The condemnation of the devil means the devil is found guilty. It means the devil is judged. The devil was condemned. Amen? The devil rebelled against God in heaven. He rebelled against God, but he wasn't judged in heaven. The devil is bound in Hades until the judgment day. It is when the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya, the judge, comes back that he will judge the devil. In this world, even if a person is found guilty of a crime, the crime scene is to be examined and evidence to be collected. Similarly, there has to be conclusive evidence to prove that the devil, the former angel in heaven, Lucifer, rebelled against God. So the devil killed the innocent man, Yeshua Hamasaya, because the devil killed the one without sin. His unrighteousness was was revealed. We must also understand that before the resurrected power of Christ saved us, we first need to receive and accept Him as our Lord and Savior. So, may I encourage everyone now, especially those who have not received Yeshua Masaya yet, follow me as I pray the sinner's prayer. Kailangan hindi natin ibulong. Lakasan natin upang marinig ni Satanas na sa araw na ito tayo ay iniwanan na natin ang ating master for a long time at ang ating master when we receive Yeshua Masaya is already the Lord Yeshua Masaya. So let us pray the sinner's prayer. Father God, we are truly grateful of your love and mercy upon us. You have sent your only begotten Son to destroy the devil's work and in turn we receive salvation. Lord Jesus, forgive us of all our sins and for turning our backs against you. Help us, Lord, Jesus Christ, to forgive others who have hurt us in any way. I invite you now, Lord Jesus, to enter into our heart, into my heart, that, and that to dwell in my heart as my Lord, Savior, Master, and God. Write my name, Lord Jesus, in the book of life so that on judgment day I will be with you in the new Jerusalem. Amen, amen, amen. So let us pray. Father God, thank you, Father, that you have never left us, even at times when we are not faithful to you, even at times when we are not able to pray and to ask for your for your perfect will you are always behind us before us beside us waiting for us to go back to you today lord whoever you have prepared their hearts 
and have received you as Lord and Savior, let the Holy Spirit manifest in each one of them, so that Lord Yeshua HaMasiah, they will be searching for you more and more about you, and they will be thirsty and hunger for your word that will make them holy in your eyes. In the mighty name, Yeshua HaMasiah, I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.